today is gonna be a very productive day. I'm speaking it to existence <laughs> and claiming it. Uh, it's been a while since I've done like a follow me, take me, follow me around kind of vlog. So I wanted to do that today. I have quite a few things to get done today. Um, I just ended a trip yesterday, last night. I had a layover in Fort Lauderdale, pretty cool trip. I'm kind of tired, but I'm gonna push through and get everything I need to get done today. I'm supposed to be going on a trip tomorrow, and the kick is, the gag is, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, my sister's birthday's on Saturday, and she wanted to take a trip, her, my mom, and me. And so, um, at first she said she wanted to go to Paris, then Prague, then Italy. Now she feels like uh, we're not gonna have enough time if we go internationally. So she's thinking about uh, just doing a trip in the States and she proposed maybe wine country, which would be awesome because I've never been, but there's kind of a lot of logistics that would go into that and for kind of a last minute trip. I'm not sure if that is the best idea. Basically, we'd need to fly into San Fran then rent a car, drive over to Sonoma. Um, we would probably just stay in Sonoma, but we would wanna go vineyard and winery hopping. So we would need to hire some kind of tour or service that can take us around because obviously we can't wine taste and drink and drive all over the place. So. There's a lot go of planning that we have not done that needs to go into that. So I'm not sure if we're actually gonna do that or not. So, um, but basically, yes, I still have to pack for that later tonight because I have not packed at all. Um, first thing on my agenda is to get my nails done. I'm missing a nail and it broke yesterday um, during work. I work with my hands a lot, obviously. I'm a flight attendant, so I was a little self-conscious um, cause I also I in desperate need of a fill, like desperately. So I was a little self-conscious about that. So I'm off today. I need to go take care of that first thing. I'm going to try it on a new nail salon closer to where I'm going to be moving. Um, I might as well. So, cause that's where I'm going to be living and that's where I'm going to be going. So I found a nail salon. I want to try out after that. I'm meeting babe at the house. Um, we're meeting up at the house. Um, basically, what's been going on with that, it's been a, like three months since I did the unfinished house tour when we were still in the um, framing phase, like insulation phase before the drywall. Um, a lot has been completed since then. So... Um, I'll be showing you a sneak peek today, but basically we were supposed to be moved in about three months ago, but there's a huge delay. Um, it's a new construction, obviously, so, um, and we are the first section of a new area, a new section. So um, we've been having issues with our power provider who provides power um, they were to come in and establish the power and then wire our homes. But for some reason, that process is taking like super long. So there was a period of time for like five weeks where like nothing had been done in the house. So like everything was so off schedule and um, they needed power to be able to put the carpet in and do the flooring and they didn't have the power so just nothing was being done we'd visit the home every weekend like we do and we'd be so disappointed because there would be no updates so we got a call last week that the builder actually went out and purchased a generator to be able to provide their own power to the building so that they could finish working and so um this week they told us or yesterday they told us that the floors are in, the carpet's in, the appliance is in, which is like just like a huge update because um, nothing had been done for weeks. So um, we want to go check it out. We're super excited. Um, it's bittersweet because um, pretty much all that's left is the final cleaning of the whole home and then the final coat of paint. 
um, that's pretty much all that's left but we can't move in when it's done because there's still no power there's the generator power but we obviously we can't live off of that so um, it's still pretty much up to our ser our power provider on when the work will be completed and then from there they can establish a new settlement date. So it's a little frustrating, but it's, it's looking like it's going to be next month, which is September, um, whereas we were supposed to settle July 2nd. So that it's been a, it's been a minute, <laughs> a minute. I'm currently staying with my brother. Um, I have put in my notice and everything at the place that I was living and obviously this happened so um I was gonna instead of me going to get a place for like a month which I thought it would only be a month um my brother was like no way like come stay with me it's not a big deal it's no issue at all so my brother and his family his wife and his kids have opened their arms to me <laughs> and um, allowed me to stay with them. So I'm super grateful for that. <clears throat> but basically, yes, I'm, I've been staying with him for the past two months where I thought it would only be a month. It's turned into two and it might very well be three because this process is crazy and unpredictable. So just be aware of that disclaimer, if you are purchasing a house or building a house, don't expect anything to go as planned. Anything goes, anything can happen. Hopefully it does. I hope you do move in on time. I hope that happens for you, but apparently this is more common than not, so. So these are my nails. I'm super picky, so I don't really like them. Uh, if I zoom in close, you can see some of the imperfections. Like this looks lumpy. The color is cool. It's a little brighter than I'm like used to, but the color is cool. I don't like the shape of the nail. Um, but yeah, so this is how my nails came out. It took extra longer because I got a pedicure. I was due for a pedicure, but I wasn't planning on getting one today just because I have so much to do, but I ended up getting one. So I'm in my car right now. I have mixed feelings about that place. I'll probably go, continue to go, but I want to try a different person next time. Um, the place is beautiful, very organized. I didn't have an appointment right when I walked in. I was able to be serviced by somebody so that was nice um, their massage chairs are really nice um, I didn't know this until like the end of my service but you can request for champagne or wine and they give you like a whole glass they're super generous with it um, so I like the vibe I'll, I'll continue to go there but I definitely want to try a new person out because I'm super picky with my nails. I'm not really feeling these. But they look better than they did before. So I always say that. They're a little little high. I paid $70 for... This is a fill. She fixed one nail. And it's gel. She said my nails were 40 and my toes were 30 I don't know why they were 30 though. Because I just picked the basic pedicure. And I got regular polish on my toes, regular white polish. So um, I believe the brochure said it was 25 or something like that. I think it did say 25. So I don't know why it was 30, but I didn't question it. I don't fight. I just paid my money and that was that. Um, so yeah, now I'm so hungry. I'm going to run over to Chick-fil-A and get me something to eat and then... Um, I'm going to meet my babe at our house. So I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, so I just have to give a disclaimer. This is just a sneak peek of certain things that I want to show. 
we got into the house and it is done they've accomplished a lot but it, it's not what i imagined it to be as you can see there's stuff all over the ground you know because they're gonna paint and whatnot so it's not really in walkthrough condition but i'm gonna give you a sneak peek of this area here the hood is still not um fully attached but Look at how good the backsplash looks with the cabinets. There's so much junk everywhere. That's why this is unofficially official. So the backsplash looks really good. Oh my God, I love it. The next place I wanna show you guys is the fireplace. Look at the marbling around it. Oh, it looks so good. And this is our back door. Guys! Oh my god, I'm so excited. We got some really, really good news. And it feels so good after hearing bad news week after week after week. You really just get discouraged. But we got some good news today. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. It's a mess right now though. It's not in the condition I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like almost done, but it is almost done. It's just, it needs to be cleaned. So they're cleaning this week and next week. Um, but he's saying we're supposed to have power by next week and we should be closing by the beginning of the month. So next month, September. So it's exciting. Just another sneak peek. We just went to Starbucks and I ordered this drink for Babe. It's a strawberry lemonade refresher. It is so good and I low-key like it way better than my drink. My drink is good too, but I wasn't expecting it to be so bomb. So uh thank you, babe. I'm gonna we're gonna switch officially. We're officially switching. Look how pretty it looks with my nails too. I got a green tea lemonade, a green tea matcha lemonade, and it's so good. Green tea matcha lemonade. If you've never tried it, you have to try it. I was feeling tired, so I needed something to pick me up. It's refreshing, it's sweet, and it also has that boost of caffeine you need. It's my go-to drink. One of my friends turned me on to it, and I love it. Guys, I gotta give myself a pat on the back. I have been so productive today. I just left LA Fitness. I'm actually in the parking lot currently, but um, I've successfully canceled the gym membership, so they will no longer take $30 out of my account every month for no freaking reason. Um, I haven't been in a few months, and I've just been moving so much, um, as you guys know, so. There's no point in having it. I'm glad that's done and over with. For some reason, I have been just not getting around to doing it. So I'm glad I finally have done it now. I've been so productive today. I got my nails done, my toes done. We went by the house and saw all the amazing progress. Um, I picked up my medication, canceled the gym. I am on a roll. I have one more stop to make before I go to my brother's house. Um, for the evening I think I might stop at TJ Maxx may or may not depending on how bad traffic is so I guess we've decided to go to San Francisco and wine country and we might even go to San Diego I'm still not super familiar with where my brother lives in the area but I was driving and I saw a Ross and I'm like oh, it's not focusing that will do I just want to look and see if I can get some tops because San Fran is a little chilly and all of my chillier clothes are in storage at the moment. So that's what I'm doing at Ross. Cute. How much are they? 
30 bucks. Super cute. Also really like these. They're nude, but they could be cute for dinner. Just found these. I don't have any black wedges. So I might need to get these. These are really cute. Another pair that I really like. These have cutouts, so you can like see the skin, but they're boots. They're so cute and they're comfortable too. These are like twenty-four bucks. Okay guys, so I'm finally back at my brother's house um, after being out all freaking day, but I was super productive. Um, I ended up only getting one thing from Ross. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put things together and make it work like I normally do. I just didn't see anything that I absolutely loved. I'm ending the vlog here um, today was a lot but I got it done I was productive I did it sorry about the lighting it's, it's pretty dark in here but yes stay tuned to my channel for more videos I'm going to try 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 to post more frequent frequently it is really hard when you don't do this full time when you don't have a setup when you don't have an office when you don't it's just really hard but I know everyone starts out like this you can't just be a super vlogger straight out the gate so I'm trying to find my footing I'm trying to be more consistent just bear with me I have more content and more stuff coming up for you guys I'm gonna be vlogging this weekend trip for my sister's birthday so stay tuned for that and I will catch you guys later Mwah.